The word lumiere comes from the late Latin or Anglo-French ancient language and it is now common in English. Lumiere is primarily the light from sun, especially at dawn, which enables us to see the objects. Google research has released this new model called as Lumiere, which is a space-time diffusion model for video generation. If you go through this paper, which is also hosted on archive, there are a lot of cool things about it. But let me show you few of the examples which have been generated by this Lumiere. This can do a lot of things. It can do text to video, it can do image to video, it can do sty stylized generation, video stylization and cinemographs plus in painting. Now let's see what exactly is happening here. Now, in this Lumiere, the researchers have presented a new text-to-video generation framework utilizing a pre-trained text-to-image diffusion model. They have identified an inherent limitation in learning globally coherent motion in the prevalent approach of first generating distant keyframes and subsequently interpolating them using a cascade of temporal super-resolution models. And they have tackled this challenge in a very unique way. They introduced a space-time unit architecture design that directly generates full-frame rate video clips by incorporating both spatial and temporal down and up sampling modules. If you go through all of these examples, for example, look at this text to video. And if I hover on to this one, the prompt is a young couple walking in a heavy rain and look at the quality of this video. Look at these fireworks which are exploding in the night sky. Now if I scroll down for image to video you can see that if you keep going it and my favorite one is this where I relaxed ocean wave video. So look at it looks as real as it could be. And if you scroll down you can see this stylized generation whereby just using a single reference image Lumiere can generate videos in the target style by utilizing the fine-tuned text to image model weight. So if I hover for example on this parrot thing it says a colorful parrot showing off its vibrant feathers and you can see how um, it is generating the video by utilizing this fine-tuned text. And the reference image is this tree one. And then this abstract you can read into the paper and I'll drop the link in video description. Video stylization is primarily off the shelf text based image editing methods as you can see here. So on the left it's a source video and then on different um, styles it is generating it for example this one is wooden blocks then origami then toy bricks made and then the flurry um, structure of this image. And then if you look at the cinemographs cinema again, look at the quality of it. For example, look at this steam engine, amazing stuff. And video in painting just takes it to another level, as you can see here. And look at this, where for example, source video, and then wearing a crown, and wearing a striped strapless dress, and purple strapless dress, and then so on and so forth. And look at this owl and look at the quality of this crown how cool it looks and how nicely it is fitting into the head there is no discrepancies same goes with the um, sunglasses here so they have really demonstrated state-of-the-art generation results and showed the applic applicability of their approach for a wide range of application as i just showed you which included image to video video in painting and stylized generation now at the end let me just um, brief you about some of the limitations for example this method is not designed to generate videos that consist of multiple shots or that involve transitions between scenes generating such content remains an open challenge for future research so let's see which um, public cloud or which other company is able to do that in their model also, they have established their model on top of a T20 
50 to i model that operates in the pixel space and thus involves a special super resolution module to produce high resolution images but nevertheless um, our design their design principles are applicable to latent video diffusion models and can trigger further research and i'm more than sure that this will be the benchmark for the future research so really really hats off to all of these researchers the authors uh, omar vartal hela omar charles herman ronnie and their colleagues they have really done a, a wonderful job so hats off to them that's it guys so really impressed by this lumiere as usual a great stuff from google research let me know your thoughts w what do you think about this model and i would really love to try it out and you know i couldn't find any playground or any model weights so if you're aware of it let me know in the links and i will create a video around it or how to locally install it so that's it uh, if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed Please share it among your network. Thank you very much.